Hey guys, what's up? Megan just left for Vietnam a few hours ago and I decided I wanted to go there with her. And the reason being is she's not going to just any of the capitals or the main cities. Megan is going to Dalat and it's a province in Vietnam that celebrates their flower festival which the way I imagine is similar to our Panagbenga. We'll find out but before that. These are two frames that I ordered. I found it super cute and I thought Megan would love them so I'm gonna surprise her with these. I also just wanted to take this time to show you guys around. This is my new editing workstation. That behind me is the beautiful podcasting light that we got. I know the podcasts haven't been consistent but they will be coming very soon. My desk is currently a mess. Just as messy as my hair and my life at the moment. <laughs> Got to mention that this is actually gonna be an epic flight. It's a two hour flight from Manila to Hanoi, and I have a five hour layover from 1 a.m. to 5, 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. And from there, we take another flight, two hour flight from Hanoi to Dalat. Pretty intense yeah. because I don't know what I'm gonna do during that five hour layover. I don't think anything's gonna be open. Oh well, later. got to Vietnam, it's around 2 a.m. It's not as bad as I thought because I knocked out on the plane. The counters are setting up so that means I can check in soon. I'm excited to eat breakfast and I hope I get more sleep. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Let's look for a bed. But we're boarding, let's go. We made it. One sleepless night. I'm a bit smellier, definitely more tired, but I'm happy. We got a car, come on, let's go. Guess who's here? Hello. Welcome. <laughs> And I'm off to start my adventure with Bones, yay. Finally have a partner. And of course, first stop is coffee. There's like a coffee shop four minutes away. And I'm really liking this place. I'm feeling some Baguio vibes. What are you gonna get? Pour over and then black. Um, Cafe Deng is like coffee. We get a lot of coffee, but might as well try something new. How are you, Bones? I woke up at five. So hot. Mission accomplished. What do you think, Bones? Mm. So the coffee's so good. I got a really good coffee. I got a Vietnamese coffee which had uh, condensed milk and coconut cream in it. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, it was really good. Very intense, pero masarap siya. When I first had a sip of it, it kind of sent a shock throughout my whole body. Yeah. <laughs> kind of woke me up. At the same time, uh, we met Toby, who was the barista at the moment, yeah. and he gave us amazing recommendations. And you know, that's how we travel. We like going to coffee shops and asking the locals where to go. Drink some coffee. So that's what I'm gonna do. Taking my sweet time. It's so nice outside. The sun is setting and it's time for me to explore once again. Where are we going? To rehearsals. 
Well, she's going through rehearsals. I'm just gonna hitch a ride. Are we gonna have dinner later? Yes, we are. If you're gonna come with us, come on. The thing is, Bones is here for work, and I don't really want to intrude because that's not what we do. We might go our separate ways. <laughs> we got work. Yeah. This is where Megan is working. I'm dropping her off and then I'm gonna explore. This is pretty cool though. What a fun vibe. Bye! So there you have it. That is Madame Bones at work right behind me. We're gonna enjoy and go around. Vibe is really nice. Weather is absolutely amazing. Like I said, I can't stop repeating that it feels like Baguio in Vietnam. I don't know anything about this area, I don't know anything about this festival, so the best thing to do right now is just explore. For the first time ever, the banking system has somewhat failed me. I have been trying to withdraw cash. APM 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After three tries, I finally got one to work and now we can eat. I'm actually heading to the central market right now. I already see a lot of food stalls. We might as well eat our way through the night. We got ourselves some grub. Let's find a spot to eat. Just sit down with some nice light, hopefully. This looks like a pretty okay spot. So I got two things. I have no idea what they're called. Yeah, I didn't look up the name. But then none of them spoke English, so whatever. Let's eat. Mmm. That bread is so soft. And the meatballs are super spicy. I love it. Because it's cold. And I just have a shirt on now, so... Spicy hot meatballs and soft bread. Sounds pretty good right now. Here's the deal. It was 20,000 Vietnamese dong. So that's around maybe 45 pesos. Puede na. Puede na. I would say that the softness of this bread is like a hot, freshly baked pan de sal for us Pinoy's. Our second course in the menu is this beautiful yellow looking pancake with I don't know what's inside. Definitely veggies, possibly no meat. Ooh, mm, the pancake is mildly sweet on the very first bite. So many flavors in this pancake. So you get the sweetness of the pancake on the first bite. And then the savory goodness of the sauce comes out later on. With my very, very light dinner done, let's look for some coffee. I know there are places around here. Let's go. How much? 7,000 7, What's the name? Ban Aum Ban Aum Ban Aum I don't know if I'm saying it right This is it Ban Aum I'm sure I'm horrible at pronunciation here Oh my god, I'm having so much fun This is my third dish here Ban Aum, I remember to ask for the name It smells like pandan And it's really hot It's like a pandan Puto bumbung with peanuts inside. What you just saw back there was the central market or central night market here in Dalat. I think we're done eating. Now let's look for coffee. I think I said that already. But yeah, there's a nice place which Bones found. I'm gonna go to and I'll just tell her about it. <laughs> I managed to get myself some dessert care of the lovely ladies over here, of course. The language barrier is very, very strong. So we're gonna try this one. I think it's yogurt and rice. I've never seen this combination in the Philippines. 
not bad. Anything goes with rice. These ladies are a nice bunch, so I'm taking my time to learn some of the names of the food I'm eating. So she's cooking something called Biza Dalat. Biza Dalat. Say that right? Yeah? Biza Dalat. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Come on. Come on. Thank you. I'm currently in Mary Bean's coffee shop, had amazing coffee, but more importantly, I met V. That's V over there. She's important because she just gave me the most important recommendation. She gave me a dinner recommendation and she gave me a breakfast recommendation. The dinner one is called... Boomba Hue. Boomba Hue? Yeah, that's right. V, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. So we're in the street right now and everyone is serving the same thing, but we're looking for a specific shop. Hello, the one bowl. It don't get better than this. No, it don't get better than this. It don't get better than this. No, it don't get better than this. Before the night's through. Alright, here we go. This is Bon Bu Hue Huan. We put in a good amount of chili, I would suspect. So we've got a huge pork bone in here. Check it out. We have some Betamax. This is some blood. And some yummy, nice, squishy noodles. Oh, this is good. This is nice. Ah. Not that spicy. I guess Vietnamese aren't so into their spice. I put in a spoonful. If I did that in Taiwan, oh my god. Dead bulls. V also gave me a tip. She said this is 35,000 Vietnamese dong. So they can't rip me off. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Possibly the craziest thing about Vietnam is crossing the damn street. Here's a little tidbit for everybody. There are no stoplights here in Dalat. So you just cross whenever you want to cross. At least that's what I've gathered. And it is scary. 